Hey Aquarius, this is Moon Pie Tarot doing your next 10 days love reading. <clears throat> this will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Links to get a personal reading with me and to follow me on Instagram. Everything is down below this video. You can also become a member of my channel for $9.99. Um, just click the join button and you'll see the perk. Um, the perks that I have to offer. Okay, I did have it up a little bit too high, so I changed the price. So if you guys want to join me, that would be awesome. Okay, so we're going to take a look, Aquarius, at the person, present and future that you may be connecting with here. And remember, it is a love reading. Okay, so it's general. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look and see what the love messages are here to start the overall energy. Okay, I will tell you um, on the board, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, another Aquarius. Um, Libra, and Gemini. Okay, for those of you who just feel like you need to know. All right, let's take a look here. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, okay? So you guys might be in separation right now or just in this period of not really speaking or you feel like somebody might be considering uh, maybe we should separate, maybe it's time. I don't really feel like that's something that's wanted, but it might be necessary at this time. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So there's definitely, it's like, it feels like it's necessary. It feels like there's um, some type of trans, uh, some type of separation going on right now that it, it has to happen. I'm not sure why. Somebody is having some kind of I don't feel like it's a breakup. It just feels like separating from somebody. It could be like there's a trip or something along those lines coming up, or you guys are, uh, you know, together now, and then there's going to be like a time period where you're not going to be able to be together. You're being asked to stay optimistic, to be positive, okay, um, to not feel like this is the end, or someone here is. Let's see. Okay, children. Love life is being affected by children. Okay, there might be something going on here with children. Either you have kids or your partner, your person has children, or there's grandchildren, or there's something going on where there's this. It feels like it might have something to do with this children thing. Mm, like attending to. Now children, it doesn't, they don't have to be little children. They could be big, big kids, you know, any age. Okay. <laughs> Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I feel like this energy will be playing out. There is, that's why you're being asked or you're both being asked to be optimistic. This separation is necessary right now, but it seems to me like it's still going to keep going. Um, let's take a look at your person's energy, okay? Um, they're definitely in this change position. I feel like this person wants to really keep moving forward with you. They have that King of Pentacles energy, so they're very grounded and logical. This person, you know, um, it feels like um, they're pretty solid and, and they have good practical ideas about you and your relationship. I don't feel like this person wants to give anything up or end anything, you know, they, they feel like as far as you are concerned that you are, you know, you're like a, um, I don't know, lucky, a, a lucky rabbit's foot or <laughs> like a lucky clover or something to them, you know, um, this person wants to keep it, keep it moving forward. I feel like they presently are, you know, having to push back on some things right now in their life, but Definitely in this energy of wanting to defend your connection, you know, um, fight against others, even if there has to be some separation or something like that um, for a little while, I don't see this person wanting to give up. I feel like they're really in tune with how they feel about you. And they, with the Queen of Cups, I feel like they have very deep, positive, loving feelings for you, a very nurturing energy. 
Let's take a look and get a couple of cards for the Wheel of Fortune. Good for the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, see, um, this person wants to keep moving forward. They love spending time with you. Um, you know, it seems like you guys, when you're out or when you do things together, it's like a really good time. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, this person, it, it kind of like the Three of Cup energy is like they, they not only have deep emotions and feelings for you, but they also feel like you're just like a really good friend you know, as well, like you're very supportive and that's why they want to keep moving forward. You just have this thing about you where Aquarius, they look at you and they just think, wow, you know, I can count on Aquarius. Aquarius is always there for me, gives me good advice, is good and supportive in my life and helps me to see the changes that I can make in my life and keep moving forward. Like you come across to this person as being very, uh, you know, just a good person that they love to have around or they just love they just love you and that's why I feel like whatever the separation is or something to do with children or whatever might be going on at this time I feel like it's temporary let's take a look at this sun Okay, look, the Six of Cups. Yeah, so there could be something to do with children. Maybe they have to go take care of them or attend to their children's children if you're older. Um, you know, I feel like... Um, I also feel like when this person, they're very, they think very fondly on um, their memories that you guys have had or that you've made right so like things it doesn't even matter if you've only been out on like a couple of dates <laughs> you know or whatever you've done like when they think of you there's just this playfulness about you they feel very positive and it feels like with the sun that they they really enjoy i don't know going to like parks if you guys go to a park or you do stuff together this person really enjoys um like the playfulness right this could have something to do with the children as well being you know um your relationship being quite playful i just want to take a look though at this what is this separation okay eight of pentacles so it has to do with work um somebody here is separating from the relationship just temporarily to take care of some work things or to focus on some business and things like that like i said it could be a trip but i truly don't feel like this person is going anywhere i'm not seeing that in fact the ace of pentacles is here in the near future they're coming in to make you some kind of gigantic solid offer like there's a a huge golden opportunity um that this person wants to give to you um, to help make your life easier in some ways like they want to offer as much as they can you know um, now the nine of swords is here so this person i feel like sometimes they have um, anxieties and worries and things like that there, there might be a little bit of a fear or something that you won't take the offer but i feel like this person you know engagement marriage like they they really, again, with the total love and support, the same as the Three of Cups, the love and support, like this person is wishing and hoping that you would, I feel like they're going to ask you to marry them or ask you, like, you know, to be their plus one in life, but with some kind of like, like to engage with one another in like a union. And they're stressing about this. You know, I don't know. They're, they're really thinking about it and thinking about ways to ask you. Um, sorry if I spoiled the surprise here. Let's take a look at this Nine of Swords. Look, Ace of Wands is here. Yeah, two aces side by side. Having like, they're very, it's like an urgency for this person. They're, they're up at night like, how am I going to propose? How am I going to ask, you know? How am I going to, like, universe, spirit, or the powers of being is guiding them towards doing this with you or having this with you. And, you know, they're stressing about it. <laughs> highly, highly stressing about it. They're looking at you like, <laughs> look at you. You're like, are you for real? <laughs> Give me the truth. I don't know. It's like, do you not? believe it or something or they're just not sure they want to they want to approach you in a way where you're not going to say no <laughs> 
they want to do it in a way that you're just gonna say yes like then it's like a perfectionism kind of thing like how to approach you let me see what are they thinking ways to do this yep trying to come up with a different perspective or some new ideas to try to um you know ask for your hand in you know committed exclusive just you and your person nobody else right just you two till death do you part i mean i definitely feel like that energy is playing out let's get some cards i want to see how this person's feeling about you here um Mm, you know what? I just had an epiphany. All right, I guess I'll pull some. I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of... Let me just... I'll get a couple. Okay, this one to pop out here. Okay, I know I messed up everything. Um, your person, maybe in the past, has made some huge mistakes. Um, definitely. I mean, is, so many things remind me of you. Yeah, this person's definitely on the Aquarius. Um, they'll look at a flower and be like, oh, Aquarius likes that. Or, you know, they'll look at like, I don't know, a loaf of bread and be like, oh, Aquarius likes this particular bread. Like everything they look at, everything they do makes them think about you. They want to be more than friends. I think I was saying that because this person does see that you are not only just a good friend, but you are like somebody that they can count on, someone that they can, you know, have a deep loving relationship. You know, they're they're very positive about the two of you. Um, I feel like you have a good foundation built between the two of you or it started that way maybe you were just friends for the longest time for some of you and now this person is like now that i want to be more than friends i want to be with aquarius i will wait for a sign from you okay i feel like that's a lot here to do with this here you might be busy with stuff but i feel like they're waiting um to be enlightened um because I do see them planning and preparing to make some kind of offer, but they're like stressing about when or where or how um, in the future. And I feel like they're waiting on you for you to give them, you know, like the go ahead, a, some kind of sign that they could, um, you know, like you got to throw them a bone or something. They're waiting to see what you say or what's going on or what you think or like looking for an, a way to, to jump right in and make some kind of offer to you. Let's see. I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, like whatever the separation is, this person can still feel your energy. If you haven't heard from them, try not to feel like this person's abandoned you. Um, I feel like they're thinking about you all the time and they can feel you still somehow. They can feel feel when you were laying next to each other they always think about that they always think about when you guys were you know um sitting across from one another um or working out together or you know whatever you guys were doing just talking or texting um like they can they feel your absence that that's really what it is um the apart the being apart or there's some type of separation they can feel that very much it feels like a void like or or like they have phantom feelings you know like they've lost their leg or something or, you know like a part of them i replay our conversations over and over yeah so when this person's unable to talk to you i just saw like a um i just saw like a table and um they're in the middle of like i see like um working on the computer or business or something uh, doing some work or where they're in a hotel or they're far away and I see them looking at their phone and just you know waiting for a meeting to start and they're rereading their old text messages uh, they're re rereading the old conversations and all the lovely things that you said to them and how you've expressed your feelings towards them they, they keep rereading that just being near you is intoxicating wow Aquarius this person's like Drool, they drool they get that warm sense between their legs when they think about you <laughs> they get a little rise <laughs> the dough rises a little bit <laughs> if, if if you know your person's a male if it's a female she's kind of like got to cross her legs a little bit 
I lost myself for a little while. Okay, I feel like this might have something to do with them knowing that they've messed up everything um, or that they were confused. Maybe you guys are just friends and they ended your friendship. Um, and it's mostly because I feel like they, they couldn't handle the fact that they loved you so much and they're not, like I feel like there's a part, it's like I don't want to lose my friendship with Aquarius but at the same time I'm in love with Aquarius and I want to make it or take it further or we just started dating and I got to pull my energy back a little bit um, because I, I'm feeling stuff too quick and I get a, they get a little lost maybe they pulled away from you right and they can feel like if they had pulled away from you that you that you let them go and they don't like that because it's like I feel you leaving me behind, but I don't know that you're really, I don't really know, like, even the separation, this time away or work or whatever, like, or maybe you are the one that has to leave or go away for work and, or something that you're doing that you have to focus on. And, you know, this person, like, oh, this is like a strong red string tie between the soul tie here. We will be together again. And that's what I'm saying. Your person, I'm telling you, Aquarius, just really doesn't want to give up. They don't want to lose you. They don't want things to, you know, even if it's like a temporary separation, they don't want things to end. Um, let's take a look and see what your moonology message is. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Okay, that's really just a message like... Stay optimistic, like it was saying here about your love life. And you you don't, I don't feel like either one of you really needs to worry at all. I feel like this person is head over heels for you and that they're in love with you. And I feel like whatever this separation is at this time, you know, or these next 10 days going forward, you guys will come back together. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So I feel like maybe a little bit of time apart will blow up the love again and even if in separation i feel like somebody here your person is going to come to terms with how much they truly do care for you or even if you are having to separate for a while that like loss and that void is really going to hit them hard awakening someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation and that has mostly to do with the love Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Yeah, and that's what I feel like. Your person's very practical. They're definitely work focused, but they do believe that um, you're the one for them. Like you're the strong one, especially in this connection. Okay, second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. So if you guys are like apart or on the outs, there's something. The powers that be are basically saying. Maybe give it one more shot. Give it one more try. I feel like your person wants to give it one more try. All right, let's get some charts. See what your messages are here. Okay, so we have an eagle. Very nice. This looks like the eagle from the football team, the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, eagle, very important message here. Somebody drives a... I don't know. I just I just saw like a jeep. Somebody drives a jeep. I feel like, or um, there's definitely some kind of message being delivered. You're getting some kind of message within these next days, next ten days. Very important message. Um, or somebody like the eagles. There's something to do with the eagles. I don't know. It's just so strange. Um, and I feel like, um, I don't know if they like that team or they play on that team, you know, or there was a game wherever you are. I don't know if you watch football. I mean, I don't know, maybe you watched a game together or something, or somebody does something with eagles. There's also something here about majestic and being majestic and noble. Um, or somebody's in the military, um, you know, like the U.S. 
could be the U.S. Army, Navy, Marines, uh, Air Force. Somebody gets like a pin or something or gets a decoration. Or you're looking up at the sky and there's an eagle. Okay, now we have a hanger. Okay, uh, hanging on. You need to hang on. That's what I feel like this, re this reading is saying. Hang on, don't give up. Hold your vision. Okay, someone, someone, uh, some of you like have lost your dress, or you may not know if you start looking for like um, a dress or something. It's not on the hanger. Um, you need to, um, I don't know, or you're looking for your dress or something, or it's not. It's fallen. It's fallen. It's not. It's there, but it's fallen, like down on the bottom of your closet or something, or it's like uh, messed up, but like with a bunch of other things or clothing i'm just seeing an image of that and i'm also seeing boutique i'm hearing the word boutique somebody has like a boutique or is in a boutique listening right now okay um and i don't know does somebody here make fancy hangers or is thinking about getting into making fancy hangers like to sell like really pretty you know fabric type hangers these are it's very beautiful oh i just heard the hangman hangman sounds like an old Led zeppelin song right hangman hangman okay good all right one more please what's this oh so we have two flying objects now we have an airplane you know this is an old time airplane, like from the 1930s or 40s. Like an old time airplane. Are you watching like a history movie or a war movie or something? Or somebody likes to dress up in 1930s clothing, like you're in a boutique looking for that kind of clothing. But there's also an energy of someone's a pilot too, or, li or likes to go to like um, those old um, aviation museums. You know where they have all the, the old, you know, the old airplanes, and it feels very like some military bomber or something. It's almost like a bomber. I'm just picking up like a bomber. You're watching, junior, some kind of bomber movie or something, World War, which um, two, I guess. I don't know. It's very strange. If someone likes to fly planes it's a pilot or is getting their pilot license or is connected to someone that has a pilot license something along those lines let me see if there's anything else you want to tell me. oh a hangar isn't that um where airplanes go in a hangar okay <sighs> somebody's got like an eagle on a plane there's an eagle drawn on a plane that sits in a hangar i'm just hearing that airplane hangar I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm. I think I might leave the comments open just to see if that resonates for anyone because I'm not really sure exactly. I just see like some old old airplanes and like a hangar, like a, a maybe a museum or something. All right, Aquarius. Those are your love messages. I hope that you enjoy this reading. Please do join my channel. Um, if you'd like to become a member, it's $9.99 for the month, and you can join in in the chats and get free personal readings from me. All right, you guys, do hit like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Take care.